Hi, my name is Claire. Welcome to the restorative yoga routine. This can be done any time of day before eating and even late at night. Once you become comfortable with this routine, you can move on to the invigorating routine. And then you could combine both if you would like. Each day is different, so notice how you're feeling and then you choose which will be best for you. So let's begin. Create a comfortable space and remember turn off your cell phone. This will make your experience much more enjoyable. We'll start by lying down. So come down onto your mat carefully, bending both knees to one side. Roll onto your back. Go ahead and make any little self-adjustment to get yourself comfortable. Let your feet relax out to the sides. Your palms are turned up. And close your eyes and deep breathe in and out through your nostrils. Notice how your low back feels. And now, bend both knees, feet flat on your mat. Feet are hip width apart and let your knees touch. Notice how this feels. Notice your low back and you choose the most nourishing choice for your low back. Knees bent or legs straight. As we inhale, let your belly rise up toward the sky so the lungs can fill up completely. As you exhale, let your belly lower down toward the earth, breathing in and breathing out, creating a rhythm of breathing that we will stay with the entire session. And now, knees to chest pose, hands around your knees and begin to rock easily and effortlessly side to side, massaging all the muscles around your spine calming and soothing your central nervous system. And now stay to the center, knee to chest pose, straighten your left leg on the ground, bringing your right knee in towards your chest. Make sure that the back of your head is on your mat with your chin toward your belly. Relax your fingers and your shoulders and elbows and breathe deep. Knee to chest pose nourishes on the right side, our ascending colon, the part of the large intestine that goes up on the right. This pose will improve and strengthen your digestion. Three more full, deep breaths. And then bring both knees to chest and full body extension, deep breath in, and exhale, relax down. And notice how your right leg feels longer. And now left knee to chest. Breathing full deep breaths, this nourishes our descending colon. Breathe full deep breaths in and out. And give yourself the freedom to move a little this way or that way to be comfortable. And again now, three more full deep breaths as we lengthen muscles around our low back and hip and buttocks, creating space for your blood to flow more freely and energy to flow more freely. And now both knees to chest, rock right and left, breathing in and out and full body extension, deep breath in and exhale aside. And make any little self-adjustment and just pause for a minute. And again, if it's more comfortable to have your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, that's fine. Now we're going to come to a seated position, so bring your knees in and roll to your right or left side. Bring both hands on the floor in front of your face and lift yourself up to a seated position. Seated forward bend. We'll inhale, reach your arms up over your head and exhale, arms come out to the sides and come forward from your hips and breathe deep. Full deep breaths. You can rock a little bit side to side. You may even want to nod your head. Just close your eyes and notice how you feel and find where you will be most comfortable in this pose. 
If you can reach for your toes, bring your hands around your toes. And if not, just hold on to your ankles or your calves, wherever you can reach comfortably. It's not how far you can reach, it's how deep you can breathe. Keep breathing in and out. Seated forward bend regulates blood sugar levels by strengthening our pancreas. We improve digestion and lengthen the entire backside of our body. And now roll up one vertebra at a time, coming into seated twist pose, bringing your left knee in. If you want, you can cross the leg over with the foot flat on the floor. Whatever is most comfortable and sitting upright, We'll take our right arm out to the side and bring your right arm around and left hand goes back behind you. Your whole hand is on the ground and begin to circle your chin. Big, slow circles. Breathing in and out. Massaging your neck muscles. Your beautiful neck muscles that hold your head up all day long as you stand, walk, climb stairs, sit and eat, breathing full deep breaths, circle in the other direction, and now bring your chin over your shoulder. As you continue breathing, full deep belly breaths, close your eyes and notice the points of pressing. Press your sit bones forward and down. This will align your hips and lift the crown of your head up toward the sky. Bending your elbow slightly, bring your shoulder back and down. And this will nourish our liver and kidney, the filters of our body, keeping us strong, healthy, and purified. Three more deep breaths. And then inhale and exhale over, just coming to this side. Sway a little bit right and left. And now coming up, extend your leg out and let's bring our right knee in. And again, choose what's most comfortable. If you want to cross the foot over, that's fine. Sitting upright, we'll take our left arm out to the side and wrap your left arm around to the right and bring your right hand back behind you by your tailbone and just begin to circle your chin. Big, slow circles. Breathing in and breathing out. Massaging your neck muscles. Nourishing your neck muscles. Giving back the gift of movement and nourishment. Reverse the chin circles. And now bring your chin over your shoulder. Closing your eyes softly, come forward on your sit bones and then bring them down towards the earth. Lift the crown of your head up toward the sky, shoulders back and down. And take a few more deep breaths as we nourish and lengthen our spine. And by pressing your right shoulder back and down, this nourishes your kidney. On the other side, we were nourishing our kidney and our liver. Breathing in, breathing out. With the next breath in, we exhale, coming over to the other side and swaying a little bit right and left. And now coming up, extending your legs out. We'll come back to seated forward bend, seeing that the benefits are immediate as we have absolutely lengthened our spine, inhaling up. Exhaling, come forward and notice you can reach a little further. See, the benefits are immediate. So if you're able to reach your toes, that's fine. If not, hold on to your ankles or your calves and just breathe deep, rocking right and left, breathing in and out. And then slowly roll up from your belly, one vertebra at a time. Bending your knees, we're going to come into a standing position. So bringing your hands to your heart, taking a moment to center yourself. Close your eyes 
and let's cultivate some inner peace and harmony and balance. Heaven and earth pose, inhaling, reach up for the sky and down toward the earth with your gaze upward. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, left hand up and right hand down, lengthening your spine. Inhale, this is a beautiful side bend that we don't always get during our day. Inhaling up and exhaling down, connecting with the sky above and the earth below. And hands to heart. Now, we're going to do sun salutations, a series of movements that flow with the breath. Closing your eyes, let's connect with our heartbeat. Notice your heartbeat. See if you can feel your heartbeat. If you don't, don't worry it is. And sun salutations strengthens our heart, improves circulation, lengthens and strengthens every major muscle in the body. Very powerful sequence. So now, with your eyes open, soft gaze, this is hands to heart pose. We inhale, arms come down and up, hands to sky pose. Exhale, arms out to the sides and begin to slightly bend your knees. You want your fingertips behind your toes. Head is relaxed down, breathing in and out. And now, deep breath inhale, equestrian pose. Bring your left leg back. Stay here, make sure that your knee is over your ankle. Breathing, full deep breaths. We take a breath in now and exhale, child's pose, sitting back. On our heels, head relaxed down. Then inhale, coming back onto your hands and knees, bring your left foot forward. If it doesn't come all the way forward, use your hand to bring your foot forward. Breathing in and out. And then breath in, exhale, right foot forward, hand to foot pose. And soften your knees a little more and roll up from the belly. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes. Can you feel your heart beating now? I know you can. Beautiful. So with your eyes closed, silently say, I am strong. I am healthy. I am strong. I am healthy. I choose the most nourishing choices for my body, mind, and soul. What you think you create, what you think you become. So now we'll flow more freely with the breath. Remember to notice how you feel and if something's not feeling right, just rest and join in when you're ready. So inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to feet. Inhaling, left leg back, equestrian pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, left foot forward, equestrian pose. Exhale, hand to foot pose. Inhale, rolling up, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, exhale. This time, bring your right leg back, inhaling, equestrian pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, right leg forward, equestrian pose. Exhale, hand to foot pose. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhaling, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to foot. Left leg back, equestrian pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, left foot forward, equestrian pose. Exhale, hand to foot pose. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to foot. Left leg back, equestrian pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, left foot forward, equestrian pose. Exhale. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. 
close your eyes. Connect with your heartbeat. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel your strength and power. Okay, we're going to transition down onto our mats now. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, arms out to the sides, hands to feet. And bending one knee at a time, come into child's pose. And just rest, breathing in and breathing out. Coming into tabletop pose on your hands and knees, we'll do the six directions of the spine. Make sure that your wrists are beneath your shoulders and your knees are beneath the hips. Spread your fingers out and we'll start with cat and dog. We inhale dog, chin up, tailbone up, and then exhale round into cat, like a stretching cat or rainbow shape. Inhale dog, exhale cat. Inhale and exhale. Close your eyes softly and feel this forward bend and back bend as we lengthen and strengthen our spine. Then come back to tabletop pose. Exhale, slide your feet to the left, bending your left elbow, look over your left arm at your left foot, and inhale, come back to center, pause. Exhale, slide your feet to the right, look over at the right foot. Inhale, center, exhale, side. Inhale, center, exhale, side. This is a beautiful side bend right and a side bend left. Close your eyes and feel it. If this bothers your wrists or shoulders, you can come on to your forearms at any time. And now back to tabletop pose. We come out of tabletop and bring our legs wider apart. And this is a turning motion right and left. So inhale, bring your left arm up, gazing up at the sky and exhale, hand down. Inhale, take our right arm up, exhale down. Inhale, up, exhale down. Again, close your eyes and feel this turning motion right and turning motion left. And one more time, each side. These are the six directions of the spine. Forward bend, back bend, side bend right, side bend left, turning right, turning left. Now let's balance with cat and dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale and exhale, rest in child's pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Now we're going to come onto our backs, so extend your left leg back or your right leg and roll onto the other hip and come onto your back. We're going to perform some yoga sit-ups. Yoga sit-ups are doing sit-ups in union with the breath and the body, noticing how we feel, knees to chest. We take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your forehead to your knees, knees towards your head, elbows out to the sides and inhale lower down. Exhaling, coming up, strengthening your abdominal muscles, which improve our digestion and which support our low back, giving us the sense of stability. Exhale, bring your belly button toward the earth. Inhale down. And now we exhale up and we inhale, arms up overhead and bend your knees, feet flat on the floor and exhale. Inhale, exhale, and two more. Deep breath in, use the breath to lift you up and your abdominal muscles. Full body extension, and exhale, relax for a moment, making any little self adjustments. Just pause for a moment. The pause between the pose is just as important as the pose as we take a moment to receive. 
all the benefits from all the poses we've done so far. And now, lying down hip rocks. Bend your knees, bring your arms out to the sides, palms up, and bring your feet hip width apart, a little wider than hip width apart. Relax your toes and just let your knees go side to side, easily and effortlessly. Breathing in and breathing out. And just close your eyes and feel this nice massage to your lower back and the back of your hips. You can do this first thing in the morning while lying in bed or right before you go to sleep. This is very good for our spine and our central nervous system, creating a relaxing feeling in your body and your mind. And then knees to chest and rock. Full body extension. Exhale. And now fish pose. The most restorative pose of all. Bringing the bottoms of your feet together and your arms up overhead, taking hold of the opposite elbow. If this isn't comfortable, you can slide your hands down to your wrists. And if your hips aren't comfortable, just bend your knees, feet flat on the floor. Knees touching. Close your eyes, notice how you feel. And you choose the most nourishing choice for your body in this moment. Just take a few deep, full breaths here. As the energy moves around the body, healing, restoring and rejuvenating. Having the bottoms of our feet together and the hands connecting to the other arm. This holds the energy in. As the energy moves around the body, restoring, rejuvenating every single cell. Three more deep breaths as we expand our rib cage and chest area with each inhalation, creating space for our heart and lungs to function more efficiently and effectively, nourishing these organs. And one more deep breath in and out. And now knees to chest pose, deep breath in, one yoga sit up, exhale up. Inhale, full body extension. And exhale, ah. Bring your arms down by your sides. Again, make any little adjustment with your legs straight, feet relax out to the sides. Or you might wanna have your knees bent. It's your choice. This is the most important part. Shavasana in Sanskrit, relaxation pose. All you have to do is just be. Just be as the energy flows freely now, in and around your body, healing, repairing, rejuvenating, and revitalizing every single cell. Let your eyes soften in their sockets. Let your lips gently part as you relax your jaw all you have to do is just be. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just be.
keeping your eyes closed, gradually begin to deepen your breath, coming back to the full deep belly breathing that we started with, breathing in and breathing out. Oxygenating, awakening, nourishing every single cell. Begin to slowly move your toes and your fingers. Bringing your knees in toward your chest. Rolling onto your right or left side in sleeping baby's pose. Resting your head on your hands or your arm in your hand. Whatever is most comfortable, drawing your knees in close towards your chest. Just taking a moment to nurture yourself, loving yourself just as you are this very moment. For when we love and accept ourselves just as we are in this moment, then we can evolve into whatever it is that we want. Feeling the yoga, the union within and all around. Let's come up to a seated position. Sit comfortably with your legs crossed or however it is comfortable for you. This may be better for you. Close your eyes. If you can, bring your hands to your heart and just take a moment to feel the inner peace and harmony that we have created through breathing, movement, relaxation. Feel the yoga, the union within and all around and bringing your fingertips toward your forehead, acknowledging and bowing to your beautiful body, mind, and spirit. And lifting back up, bring your hands to your heart. And I wish you peace and happiness and namaste. Namaste is a Sanskrit word that means I honor the light in you that is the same in me. Namaste.